My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today um, I was going to, we're going to get into some of these videos that um, are more fundamental ground-based stuff. So some of this is going to start rolling into ECUs and so on and so on. But the title of this video is What is a Throttle For? And you'll notice I've got these cups. <laughs> 10 points if you can guess what this is about before I even say it. So, what is a throttle for? I asked this question today, actually, on uh, the Facebooks very quickly. A lot of people said it meters this, it does this, it controls RPM, blah, 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 blah. Some people said it, you know, it meters air, which is the correct term to a degree. Uh, it is, obviously, that's what it does. It's called a throttle, choking and throttling are to do with um, restricting air. Um, so, they don't control RPM, weirdly enough. You might think it does because you do this and that happens, but if load, if you give it a load of this, you can sit with a bike in neutral and rev it, and you give it, you know, whatever, 26% throttle position, and 26% throttle, and it gives you whatever RPM. When you're under load going up a hill with some fat bastard sat on the back or whatever, and loads of gear, it's not the same. So it's not it's not an RPM control. Um, what it is, and um, talking about compression ratios and all these other things, people seem to misunderstand, and I think this is why we have such a problem with understanding flows through heads and stuff. People misunderstand exactly the principles of an engine. It's because we've kind of been taught it the wrong way around or to believe the wrong thing. So if I say this to you, if I say air density, the first thing most nearly every single person thinks of right, is uh, turbos and intercoolers. Right, intercoolers. And then off the back of that, they think of charge density, right? And then they think of um, atmosphere or atmospheric pressure, stuff like that, right? They think of all these things. But really, there's something a bit more important than that. And this ropes into this word that I use an awful lot, especially in the comments replying to people, is this. Right, which is volumetric efficiency. It sounds like a posh twat word, but it, it's not, right? Uh, volumetric efficiency, right? Volumetric efficiency is massively, it's everything, right? It's, it's, it, it's everything, because, simply put, uh, we want combustion, right, to raise the temperature and therefore because it's a fixed or it's a contained volume, it's a, yeah, it's just a contained volume. Um, by raising the temperature, we raise the pressure. Booyah, just like so. Fucking wonderful. And to do this, we need to stick two things in. Well, three things in. We need to stick air in. We need to stick fuel in. And then at the right time, we need a heat source. Right. So, our fuel is taken care of via um, fucking, you know, your fueling system. However, that's done. It's if it's carved, if it's this, if it's that, it's the other. When you get to your air, the problem with air is, is that we need a shitload of it at this atmos you know, at atmospheric pressure and temperatures, um, the volume of air uh, is, is, is huge, you know, compared to um, fuel. So when I did that thing when I showed in a four, 450 cylinder, the amount of fuel that went into a 450 cylinder by volume was fuck all compared to that entire cylinder's worth of air at this temperature and pressure. So because it's so big, and because we're quite close to, well, basically a perfect vacuum, if you look at, um, you know, it's like pressure wise, if we just say gauge pressure is zero, right? So this is um, gauge pressure, right? 
zero here. We can come down to 14.7 PSR. We'll use that because it's something everyone's familiar with. But we can go up. Well, we can go up fucking silly. And we can quite easily go past 14.7 or 14.5, which is one bar. We can quite easily go past, well past that. So we can't go negative much, but positive. We can just go fucking silly. You know what I mean? We can just go daft from gauge pressure. And, you know, some vehicles have 30, 20, 30 PSI of boost additional pressure from gauge. You know, so it's easy, right? It's fucking easy. You look at the pressure that engines actually achieve. It's way above this after you compress it. Stuff like that. During combustion, you know, it's silly pressure. Obviously, that's where we get our drive from. Um, so, we're really quite close to, um, well, a perfect vacuum. We're not that far off compared to how far we can go and how far these engines do go. It is lucky that it is that high. Uh, we can go up rather than down. It swings and roundabouts. But what is your throttle? Let's get back to that. Your throttle is a, volume, a volumetric efficiency controlling device. That's all it is. That's what you're doing, right? Now, you are limited by other things. So the actual system as a whole, uh, where everything has been tuned to operate the best. So all these resonance and pressure waves and all this lot the harmonics of the system basically um, all of that has been tuned to a certain rpm range um, but even then you know what i mean if you don't open the throttle the engine can be spinning away at stupid rpm it doesn't matter if you just all of a sudden just close the throttle so the throttle uh your throttle is a um ve controller and we'll get to why this is important. But this volumetric thing, I want to get people into their heads because the way people say it, we call it cylinder filling. And it's not quite right. Or if you just say that and you're new to all this, other things then don't start to make sense. And this is one of these problems where English fucks us because we haven't chosen the right words to describe things in the first place so what is this arrangement all about so this is uh these are 400 cc cups there is a line that says 0 0.4 liters on it and every single one has been filled up to 400 cc basically so this isn't that different than um this cylinder here and you can kind of see it yeah it's taller than the cylinder is of the stroke, but then saying that it's not as wide. So you can see that these, you know, we're getting this pretty comparable. But what the hell is the colours about? Every time you open, um, you know, every time a valve opens and lets you know, the mixture expands into the cylinder, the cylinder is always filled because gases expand into the, the into the voids that they're. Um, exposed to so this is 400 cc so the water in these is the cc is the volume so the water in these equals the volume it's not air right the water in this equals the volume because obviously it's sealed and we can't see air so there's on there's no other way to do this than basically this what the um the vimto is again we're going with the vimto the vimto equals the density all right so that's what matters so this is your just say 25 percent throttle when you give it 25 percent throttle every intake stroke it's pretty piss weak let's just call this 50 percent something like that throttle and then here is 100%. Now, let's not get into inertial filling, you know, and all that kind of rubbish. This is wide open throttle, you know what I mean? Let's not get into that, but that's what these are, all right? So what's happening is, is it's how much. So these are all fluids. You can think of the particles that are red that we can see in Vimto, them particles, how many there are in this volume is basically the air. So the Vimto equals air molecules. 
right? They will fill the container. They equally space. It's not darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. It's not lighter or darker to one side. You know what I mean? The air, when it goes into a cylinder and everything's sealed off, it will expand into that cylinder in every single direction. So, in a sense, what we are doing is, is we are just making sure that there is more air in that cylinder, actual molecules. So you just think of them as like ping pong balls. We are trying to shove in more Vimto into each one, even though they're all the same volume. You know what I mean? These are all the same volume. It's just how much you've got in it. In, in a sense, how you can think of the water as empty space, nothing, a void, and the Vimto as um, the actual air. So this is a 25% throttle, this is a 50% throttle, and that's a 100% throttle. And you can see that they get progressively darker as they go. So this is, we're forgetting fuel here, it doesn't matter. Let's just say that our air and fuel are perfectly mixed every time. This is what matters. So when you um, jack open your throttle, we'll get into lugging and stuff and, and how why things have to catch up and how that works and stuff like that. We'll also talk about densities and flame fronts because a lot of people are talking about stuff like that. But I just wanted to get across this point that this demonstration here is what is going on more than this idea of partially filling. You know, it's not fucking, it's not like this is, I'm going to spill this everywhere, I'm not bloody careful. It's not like this is happening at 25% throttle. That's not what's going on. It's expanding. If you could condense it down, yeah, you know what I mean, whatever. But this is a better way to think of it because when we start thinking about um, inertial filling and other things in the future, this is really going to make sense more than, well, this kind of thing where you'd have half a cup and all the rest of it. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.